definitely took a toll on black male female relationships especially in the 1960s because in the 1960s black men and black women they were doing what they were supposed to have done in, for a long time which was fight together against white supremacy against racism and they were doing this with the civil rights movement so what happened people had to come in and infiltrate and have a divide and conquer um, strategy between black men and black women in 1964 government came in and they pulled black women to the side and they started to classify black women and women in general as minorities in 1964 that's the first time they classified women as minorities so they started to give them set asides and benefits and then they created the the feminist movement and a lot of sisters branched off into that and that kind of created a rift because a lot of sisters stopped fighting for civil rights and they started to fight for women's rights but women's rights weren't being jeopardized in the black community. Our first priority was racism, and we should have dealt with that first. We wanted to be free. We didn't need any boundaries, need no man to tell us what to do. Well, we hadn't had no man to tell us what to do anyway. You couldn't tell us what to do in slavery, so who, you know? We didn't really have no fight with you about that. That was the white woman's fight with her man, but we took it on. I want to be free. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. And then women started having babies, what they call out of wedlock, and then that got to be okay too. Oh, it's all right. Once it got accepted by society, all of the rest of the people, then it was okay then to just have a baby. In fact, I don't even want him for nothing but to just have a baby. And then we started saying, oh, I'm going to be the mother and the father. All kind of nonsense. And so what happened was that movement, and there never was a sisterhood in the women's liberation movement between the black woman and the white woman.